good Sunday morning. It's Sunday, right? I don't know my days anymore since I work Saturdays now. I thought I should come up to you guys to, ooh, I thought she was going to throw up, to <laughs> come with a daily vlog. And because I'm recording, David sees this as an opportunity to do something else. There's really nothing going on today. I really thought it was overdue in time for some daily vlogs. So we just got up not too long ago. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, baby Nala's down here. So today we got this little stackable situation. So um, I ordered off of Amazon. It was on sale for like five bucks. And I know these things usually be like at least... 10 to 15, 12, all of that. So they was doing a like a limited time offer. Ooh, this one's squishy, I didn't know that. Um, it's a plastic. I really wanted to get one that was like uh, cushiony, but she does have a lot of cushiony stuff. So I like, why not? It was on sale for like five bucks, but I thought I should get this just to start giving her a little bit of toy. She is uh, definitely becoming more active now that she's eight months. I'm really trying to dabble into toys. I used to wonder why people and babies had so many toys. Now as a parent, I kind of realize now why you kind of want and need so many toys because they change their mind. Yeah, they change their mind. They, you kind of need to dabble into different senses, uh, touches, textures, and it kind of helps them learn. You don't think much about that in the beginning. You think they're just playing, they're not learning anything, but they really are. So I really am trying to start ordering more things because now that she definitely ate much, she really should be dabbling into much more toys and things like that. So that's one of the things that I definitely want to do. Definitely get her a jumper and uh, some other little things that she can just try to expand her mind. So I did get her this. She was playing with the earlier. I didn't show, obviously, when I first gave it to her. But she's played with it maybe about 15 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, 15 minutes. And now she's just rolling around. Uh, comment down below if your house end up becoming like this in the living room or wherever the play area <sighs> is. Because, you know. It definitely looks like mom life in here. Also, uh, we had... We're kind of running low on Huggies, and so I have a bunch of these uh, Pampers. <laughs> it's so funny because growing up, I always thought all diapers were called Pampers, but no, it's actually a brand. Uh, but yeah, I have a bunch of these Pampers, but I never really used them because I always liked the Huggies brand. And now using these again because I'm running low on Huggies, we have to exchange them at Publix. buy pretty much anything from Publix and without a receipt return it or exchange it as long as you bought it there simply be able to exchange it without a receipt so it doesn't matter how long it's been it could be over 60 days I have exchange diapers that I got over a year ago so don't be worried about that I do know you can do the same thing with formula as well so if you are one of those people like me that wants to stock up in advance for formula and things like that don't be worried if they get inspired as long as you bought it there you can exchange those as well so yeah but anyway back to the diapers uh I I come to realize why I don't like these <laughs> um she's only had this on maybe all of how long um Probably like an hour. I don't think it was that long. Whenever I changed him. Yeah, he doesn't know. She's probably had this on maybe like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Ooh, bless bless you. you. Bless you, girl. Bless you. And look how saggy this diaper is already becoming. Look, this is new, not a new thing. I don't know what this is about. Yeah. You have fun with that. But I just don't like how baggy and bulky this already gets. I'm thinking that this has that same uh, gel technology like uh, Love's diapers do. <laughs> um, that's what I'm thinking because it feels very uh, gel-like when I squish it. So uh, any diaper 
that has that type of gel thing I really don't like I can't say anything about any explosions or anything like that because she hasn't had any in this diaper at least have you seen any okay um yeah but I know we hardly ever have problems with the Huggies diapers there's some people that don't like it you know to each its own but yeah also big news she is getting two top teeth in um if she lets a show you guys you gonna let us show them you getting your top two teeth in uh i'm quite surprised how uh i don't think as much as i thought it would and this is with both sets of teeth that grows in uh i thought it was going to be a lot more tantrums when she start to get teeth but it hasn't really even been that bad like uh, she was getting teeth really before we even understood that she was even teething. So let's see if she show you guys. Are you gonna show them? Are you gonna show them? Let's see. Hey. <laughs> She's growling at you guys. She was just kind of showing them. Let me. See. She wanna just touch the camera. <laughs> Why are you trying to hide your face? <laughs> you know this reminds me of when those kids uh, get into like Power Rangers and stuff. <laughs> and they like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Like, she sound like she... <laughs> Let me see. Yep, there we go. There we go. There she goes. She's getting two big teeth. Oh, my baby's so growing. Although, I'm a little bit worried that she's getting an underbite. I don't know how true it is. Uh, right now, her two top teeth looks like it's coming over the two new teeth that's coming in. But uh, it might change as the teeth actually come out. So, I'm really hoping for that because I've been doing some research ever since I seen that yesterday. And it looks like you can't even correct underbites until they're like seven to 10 years old so that's a really long time also an update on her body child when it comes to the eczema and all that issues who are you talking to who who don't you hit my hand who 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 but anyway as you can see it looks pretty great also let's look at her back for the most part I know this part like a terrible view but uh, all the red spots and if you see right here yeah all the red spots that's just a little bit of ash but all the red spots and all those bleeding marks and scabs and all that are all gone this actually came away like two or three days after when we got her to see the doctor and we stopped using the oil that i previously told you about and started using aquaphor and it went away like immediately after using the aquaphor the next day so i would highly suggest especially if you have a baby who is eczema or eczema prone or skin rash or dry skin or anything aquaphor will be your best friend yeah i just wanted to give a little bit of those tidbits so now i really 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 wanted to try something different when it came to nala especially since she is teething i had bought these little newbie fruit sickles which looks like this after i get up child uh this is what the little newbie box I said newbie box, but uh, newbie garden fresh fruit sickle situation. And it looks like this off of the side. It's just basically uh, like some fruit pop homemade situation that you can make for your baby. Um, we have a lot of baby food that we end up getting for her, obviously. I have seen things on Pinterest like making homemade freeze pots with breast milk and formula and those type things um but i kind of want to try it with baby food since that's what i have most people are using like fresh fruits and vegetables and that type thing and i'm just like y'all know how i get down 
I ain't got time for the shenanigans to be going to the store and paying extra money for something I technically already have. Now, I want to kind of do more research on like how long I can freeze formula and that type thing. So I'm not sure if I want to try that yet, but I just may, might want to try mostly baby food and maybe a little bit of water and do more research on formula. On the back of this, it just basically says, I guess they have the other freezer type things like this that you can buy. And yeah, what's in here? Let's shut that to the side. So this is the little container, I guess. I guess we could take this plastic off because we're not gonna be needing that. And this. Now I have tried things like this before, but I haven't given it a good try. Cause usually I think I overfill them and then it's just like pretty much and then I just toss them to the side. But one thing I like about this so far, it seems like it like snaps, so. Let's grab some baby food and see how this goes. So the baby food that I have is birch nest. I think they're all from birch nest is mangoes, mangoes, pears. This one has mango, apple, and avocado. And this one has guava, pear, and strawberries so because i have this one that has the mangoes and this one has pears in it i'm probably gonna sit the pear and the mango one to the side and maybe i can do like a mixture of the two of two of them and then do one plain one of each one of those so let's just try it and see what happens oh i do also have this strawberry with yogurt right here i just kind of want to use this up i have put this in the refrigerator and it's just a tiny bit in here so i might throw that in here as well so let's get to it so i think i'm gonna put a little bit of strawberry yogurt in each of these i don't know how much it'll have so Now for the guava pear and strawberry. Oop! Already fluffing up. So now it's time to put this in the freezer. Now that that's sitting in there. Later we do plan on going to, well, we don't plan on, but I had this in my head. He don't know this yet. Hold on. So yeah, I'm about to feed her while I talk to you guys. One thing I'm kind of thinking about and this is actually the guava that I put in here, put in her fruit sickles because I don't want to waste it. And it's a little early. It's only like 8.50 or something like that. Typically, we only see her around like 10 o'clock if we see her baby food. But she's had a good night's sleep and she's really up. So, and she's hungry. So, it'll be fine. Also, too, I really do like this thing. This is not a high chair, and I really do have the high chair, which is the ingenuity, ingenu, in, ingenuity. How you say that? Ingenuity. I think that's something like that. Ingenuity. Ingenuity. I don't know. Whatever. I do have a high chair, which I do like that. But sometimes it's just a whole process to get her in it. And it's not even like the process is even long. It's really not. Sometimes it's quick, quicker to pop her in this thing. I got this from Once Upon a Child uh, for 12 bucks. This little like bouncer chair. I think we got this from maybe when she was around five or six months. This helped uh, kind of combat some of those. Uh, she was just getting bored of some of the old stuff to sit in. 
So this kind of helped that. There's been a lot of times in the beginning I used to like just bounce her in this and like have it on the chair on the sofa with me and just bounce her in this while she watched TV and a lot of times she falls asleep or I just used to feed her in it and it helped me a lot too because she couldn't sit up yet. But what I was originally gonna say is uh, I really want to go find her a picture day outfit because she has picture day on tomorrow actually. So we have clothes that she can fit but she doesn't have a lot of clothes that are like cute clothes for her to fit. I want to go look for that today so that tomorrow, uh, picture day is around eight o'clock, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be taking her to uh, daycare tomorrow. Usually David's the one that gets her up and ready and all that type stuff. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna be the one to do that since she has picture day and I don't want her ruin her clothes before picture starts. It's a whole mom life situation, you know what I'm saying? So I keep saying mom life. It's parent life, but sometimes it's just easier to say mom because you know, you know. But I have to give babe credit. He does the, do a lot as far as get her ready, get her up. He does her hair, he finds her clothes, he does everything in the daytime and then he picks her up from daycare. So he's a real trooper. Yes, yes sir. So yeah, um, that's what I wanna do. The only real place that I even shop at is like for her stuff is TJ Maxx, Burlington, Marshalls. Because those are cheap, you get more bang for your buck. I'm gonna go ahead and finish feeding her. We we're supposed to go to church today, so we might end up doing that before that. What time is it? It's nine o'clock right now. Nine o'clock. So, uh, if we go to church, we definitely want to make the 9:45 service. So, probably feed her, get ready, go to church. After church, head down south and start doing a little bit of shopping. So, I will see you in the next clip. Oh, can't come right to your mom.